and this is my street and this is the hostel where I am this is a very beautiful hostel we have here Kaok Hostel and Adventure San Ignacio Department of Cayo, Belize I, I'm at San Ignacio Resort Hotel and here they have a great project the Green Iguana Conservational Project and uh, this is this place here this hotel is very close to Belize downtown about let's say uh, four minutes by car and 10 to 15 minutes walking uh, in a few minutes the, the tour will start and let's check the iguanas this is an animal that we have in Brazil but I don't know if the iguanas from here they're different from the Brazilian ones and in my case I've never seen iguana very close so it will be something interesting it will, it will be really cool and this this hotel looks amazing it's really really beautiful uh, they have like a swimming pool wonderful and the day today is so amazing so shining also all these paintings here they're really beautiful the jaguars the forest they have a bar here, a restaurant here, and the swimming pool is amazing, it's really, really awesome. It's really awesome. And to today the weather is perfect, it's very sunny, it's really, really cool. Part of our rehabilitation program, and unfortunately, her arm was badly damaged that it had to be amputated. So, Lexi is gonna be staying with us. Mm. She is extremely domesticated, it's a, a, a bigger group of us, so let's not overstimulate her. But if you do want to pretty much feel the texture of the skin of an iguana, feel free to do so. She likes neck rubs, so if you come up to her, you're gonna notice that she appreciates oh. it. Hmm. I say you just gotta be a bit gentle, let's come one person at a time if you guys would like to, but feel free to go ahead. Normally how many years do they live? Uh, life expectancy of a green iguana you're expecting 20 to 25 years. But in captivity you could get your iguana up to 35. Here in Belize it's illegal to keep any sort of wildlife as pets. So they're not going to be able to keep them as pets here. But I know in other countries they're a huge part of the exotic pet trade. Yeah. And people do keep them as pets. Right? big people hunt and eat these iguanas and if you take a closer look at them they're pregnant all right so people eat these pregnant iguanas not giving them the opportunity to reproduce out in the wild and this is why they're now threatened to become endangered uh, belize is one of the areas that people come and poach them for the eggs take them out and then they sell them as pets all right so again here in belize these guys have been getting affected uh, climate change has affected their population as well because they have something called temperature dependent sex determination so temperature does allow you to gender the egg warmer climates produces male iguanas and cooler climates produces females okay. if you haven't noticed as yet Belize is quite hot All right, so we get a lot of these males hatching up. fortunately I was able to visit the Cajau patch you guys can come here walking by San Ignacio's downtown but I took a, a taxi just 10 Belizeans because it closes at 5 p.m. and I arrived by 4 and 5 p.m. and here in the beginning they have a nice museum with some explanations of the Maya Empire why they were so strong their techniques they were very strong because uh, they were very organized and uh, their religion their their trust in their gods and all the rituals and practices made them a very strong uh, people even when the spanish arrived in in america in mexico guatemala some populations of mayans they were still here and uh, let me show you guys a little bit of this place here is the end of the museum but you guys can see a little bit all the countries where we can see some mayans presence at least in the past Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, and here Mexico, some states of Mexico, Quintana Roo, Yucatan, where we can see the Chichen Itza 
Campeche, Tabasco, Chiapas, all this region here, we can find some pyramids. And this is very beautiful. Just to imagine how their cities were at that time, all colorful. It is really, really nice. They used a lot of red, which represents the strength and also the blood power. Uh, nowadays, of course, when we see their cities, the what what is left, we don't see colors anymore because of the of the time, so many years. So because of the rain, the wind, the nature conditions, we don't find these colors, these decorations anymore. But just to imagine how it was, it is wonderful, really nice. In most of these places, there there are pyramids hidden. If the government is excavated more, probably they would find more pyramids. But it's good that they don't excavate anymore, because if not, the pyramids would degrade. It would be degraded because of the nature conditions, wind, rain, etc. So, under the ground, it's better for these structures because they're they're better protected. I just met an American couple from New York City, and it was so nice talking to them. One is very one maybe is about 80 years old, or I don't know. Yeah, so nice talking to people, talking to foreigners. This is what keeps me um, alive, keeps me happier. I don't like to be like walking alone in the countries that I uh, I go. I travel the most, especially number one to make connections to people. Uh, this is why I travel. Sometimes the country doesn't have so many tourist places. But only the fact of talking to a local, this already serves for me as, as um, an experience, a big experience. And here I am in Cajalpech. There, there are so many Americans here, so many Americans. All oh, these Mayan cities, they're very similar to each other it's really really nice to be here we have a lot of churches here evangelical churches i noted and um, once again i will say i'm impressed by the number of americans that are here wow great bird Also the cars, they're so big. They're like the cars in the United States. <laughs> so nice. In Brazil, it's not so common someone have a big car. Normally we have smaller cars because it consumes a lot of gas and it's very expensive, the gas there in Brazil. And here we have the public market of San Inácio Belize. It's a very beautiful place, very calm very organized i really like it it's it's big actually but it's really organized so you have a lot of people selling fruits vegetables honey and other natural products really really cool actually this is the the market here a lot of fresh vegetables fruits <laughs> and there are other sections here. Let's check it out. Here are some foods, street foods. Mm. 
Oh, beautiful day, it's a pity. I'm coming back to Guatemala today to Flores because it's really nice. This is a uh, butchery. They sell a lot of souvenirs and such things here of Belize city. Really cool. Really, really nice. We also have this river here. I haven't, I didn't see this river before. So close. It's really beautiful here, huh? Really nice. 